Brutal. So this is my first time riding in the PCS with these fenders. They're called, what are they, Rachel? Barefoot endurance fenders. And then the stirrups are? The barefoot trail stirrups. They're yes. caged endurance style stirrups. And so far it is very comfortable. I really like how there's a cushion on the stirrups. Like I can totally tell and it's very comfortable. Um, so far the fenders, there's no pinching, there's no rubbing. It feels really good. And you said they're way more stable? They're way more, they're definitely more stable. And I also like that these stirrups are much more lightweight than the metal stirrups we had. So, so far I am loving this. And, and that's, that's based on even with them being a little too long. We need yeah, to add some holes long, so that we can shorten them. It feels awesome. We're making extra holes in the fenders right now and it's working it's not working great so i think we're gonna need to get a hole punch to make them really good holes but we're making it work tonight so we can try it out so i just stand here like really good girl nice and relaxed all right we got two inches shorter now
Okay, this is the second ride with the Barefoot Endurance Fenders, and we actually had to add holes for both of us. We've actually added five holes, each increments of one inch apart from the middle of one hole to the middle of the other, which is how they are already spaced. So that's cool. You can add holes, and I have it um, on the fourth one up that we added. I The fifth one up was too short, but it actually worked. So for anyone wondering, it was still fine to use to do that way with these fenders. So that's really nice. Maybe TCS will come out with their own fender someday and they'll be like, perfect, that would be really cool. I really, really like these stirrups. I love the wideness of the bottom. That nice platform feels really good. And they're comfortable. And the fenders, they're more stable. My leg is not, my legs aren't as crazy back and forth as they were with the um, English leathers. I have to get strength and good at posting and riding in stirrups again because I literally have not ridden in stirrups for years, like five plus years. So I just have to get good at it again, which I think that won't take very long. Um, let's see what else. So we didn't really talk about this, um, but we decided to switch away from doing the English leathers. We actually went with the type of T-bar. We went through with the Ovation Web A stirrup leathers, but for us, they were very uncomfortable where the T-bar goes and the layers there. They were just pressing into our legs and were painful. And I rode in them um, with shorts one day and it, I got pinched and they just weren't good and they weren't as stable. It was harder to keep your legs stable. Um, and then we didn't like the stirrup irons that we got. We got the safety stirrup irons. We didn't like those because Sarah's feet were pain, giving her pain after riding in them. And then um, they're so heavy, which we don't love on our horses. So if they like hit them, if you're doing groundwork, that wouldn't feel good. Um, where if these were not worried about it and then um, also your foot could go far through them and they would slip through them on me whereas with these with the cage you don't really have to worry about that and these are more comfortable so that is what we're doing now and also we love the look of these western fenders they're more our style we've only ever ridden in western saddles so it's really fun to have more like the in-between so we love the look of them too and they match the black really well the only difference really is the grain is a little different but it's not a big deal at all. So, two thumbs up on the TCS, two thumbs up on the fenders and the stirrups. For anyone wondering how the barefoot endurance stirrups are attached, how you adjust them, I'm just going to show you right here. Well, this is what it looks like on the stirrup bar. So what you do is it comes with this cover, which is really nice. It covers the buckle and the top portion of it is narrower than the bottom. I put the wider part at the bottom and I just slide it up. And then you pull this extra piece of strap down the length and then pull it out of the bottom of the buckle. And the first way you put it on is just like a belt. So it just goes straight down through the buckle and you put it through your holes. These are our holes we made, but we're going to make them better with a, a legit hole punch because <laughs> they're not easiest to get your buckle into. Hold on a minute. There we go. Okay, so you put it through the hole, pull it up so it's snug. And then I take the end, and underneath the buckle there's that space. I'm gonna go through and then up, and then stick it up through this keeper, and then pull the keeper down so it goes all the way over the buckle. Pull that up so it's pulling the tong up. So cover up that, and then this piece is pretty long, which you know, if, if you didn't mind, you could always cut the extra off, which I don't know if we'll do that, but. What I'm doing right now is I just take it and then fold it behind and just stick it down through this little keeper at the bottom. And that totally works. So that's how you do them up. So for us, we haven't ridden in a saddle in over five years. We had some troubles with our saddles with them fitting our horses well and then also us, they cause us a lot of um, knee, me in particular, knee pain, foot pain, back pain. And so then whenever we tried to get a uh, custom fit saddle, that didn't work either. So <laughs> we spent quite a lot of money on that and it didn't end up working. And so we just rode bareback for many, many, many years, over five years. So I found the TCS on actually a picture on Pinterest this year, 2022, and I thought it looked really cool. So I looked into it more and it's amazing. Just have this security of the stirrups is really, really cool. What's also really cool is that I did not think that you would be able to mount with the DCS. I thought they would just immediately, you know, slip, but you can definitely um, mount up from the ground.
good star. Good girl. After riding Star, we like to hose her off because she gets really sweaty. It's so hot and humid right now. And so this time of year we hose her off. And then we like to use the strip hair afterwards because it is so good for their muscles. It's a massage. It's very therapeutic. Started out as a massage tool. They love it. You can tell by the way they act and the way their facial expressions are. Like she is putting her head down and sighing. That's a uh, releasing signs of tension. It's really cool. And so we do that after the ride because it's a really great way to cool them down, give it some muscle recovery. We love using it. And the horses love it too.